Aloha! Top of the morning, friends and family. Here's what I'm doing today. I'm going to, I'm gonna try this Morph Market thing, this Morph Market thing, this Morph Market auction. And you know what, actually this girl right here, little champagne, 100% het piebald was produced by a snake that I got from an auction back in the day from Ben Rennick, actually. Her mom is a champagne ball python named Bubbles, who, as I just said, I got from the reptile ring auction back in was 2015, I think. So I just wanted to give it a try because I've got a couple animals here that I didn't sell at the show. I've only got like four animals left from last season that I haven't sold yet, which is nice. This means I'm not really overproducing, but it was never, it was never our goal to be really producing you know, crazy amounts of animals anyway. That was never the plan here at Triple B is always to be real slow and small. The other animal I'm gonna be auctioning off is this red stripe lesser, uh, likely spot nose het clown. And both of these are females, so they should do pretty well at the auction, I imagine. We'll just kind of see how it goes. I'll give you guys my honest feedback about how I think this whole auction process works on Morph Market, and we'll go from there. One, one thing that you should do anytime you're hoping to list an animal online is uh, have good pictures of the animal. So let's pull up into my Morph Market account here. Go into my animals, and you can see up on the upper left there's an auction thing, but let's go on that lesser red stripe yellow belly that I just put up, and uh, we'll go ahead and edit the ad, and we will scroll on down, and down here in the lower part of the ad, you'll see a spot to activate the auction. So you just activate that, and you can see the rules in terms of service and all the different things that are letting you know what it is about an auction. Um, and then I will go ahead and, I'm not gonna set a reserve price, uh, but I am gonna change it to two days, so that way um, I, I can have this auction done and we can roll this thing and make this video and you guys can watch it and see the whole process of starting the auction and the auction being sold, um, or you know, whatever. Oh, it looks like uh, I cannot, I, I need to have a set shipping price if I want to do an auction. Can't have a variable shipping price, so we'll go ahead and change that to a flat rate. And most places in the country from California have been about, oh, $75 or so. so then we will save it and we should be good to go there. I think that means the auction is now live. So let's go over to the other animal that we're going to auction off, which is this champagne that I just showed you guys. And we'll go on in there, edit the ad, scroll on back down to where the auction section is. Go ahead and change that. Uh, oh, I, I, I passed it up because I'm a doofus. All right, I'll go ahead and activate the auction. Um, I'll need to put it for two days, no reserve price, and I need to change that shipping to a flat rate. And we'll do $75 flat rate. If it ends up being cheaper, I'll you know not charge the person the full 75, but it's usually at least 75 to ship anywhere in the country for the most part. So that's that's about it. They're they're going, they're live. Um, I guess we'll we'll take a look and, and see how it goes and we'll check back in with you guys once this auction is over. So I want to talk to you guys a bit well before we get back to the auction and see how it's doing um, about just you know, it's been it's been a little bit interesting trying on the camera. I've just been thinking about Brian, and anyway, I, I'm just I just want to do my my best by Brian, and I was really stoked during the time that you guys were waiting for me to show you the results of the auction, or the time I was waiting for the auction to get, get finished with. I got to go do an educational show, which was great, and I just I just feel like I want to do my best job of representing animals and myself in a real positive way to to people and that that show there was a a good thing at that and that you know there, as hard as it has been in front of the camera sometimes like at the Pomona show I like didn't really turn my camera on at all just because I just wasn't feeling it you know um but I, I don't want to do that I want to keep making content and keep putting out awesome stuff and just help carry the small part of Brian's legacy that um that I know he wants us to so all right, let's take a look at this auction thing. All right, so both auctions are over. Um, the red stripe went for 240, and I'm working on payment and shipping arrangements with the person who won the bid. 
So we'll see how that goes. Should, we've got good communication so far. The person who won the champagne, I contacted them and they saw my, you know, the thing on, on the Morph Market app. It's kind of nice. You can, you can see if somebody sees your message, kind of like, you know, on, on Instant Messenger or whatever, that the little thing that says they saw the message an hour ago. Um, I just told them congratulations on the win and asked them which way work for the payment works for them. They haven't replied to me yet, which I guess we'll see how the goes. It's, it's actually, that's one of my pet peeves, like, especially when it comes to something like this. Like, you saw my message and then you just read it and decided you weren't going to say anything back. I mean, I messaged them like within minutes of them winning the auction. So, one of the Morph Market's rules is if the winner doesn't make good on, on an auction they win, then they're going to be removed from the platform. So hopefully this person gets back to me within 24 hours, which I think is the standard they set, you know, within 24 hours to at least arrange for some kind of way to take care of your winning. So I do like that Morph Market is only allowing, I think it's two or maybe three um, auction listings per seller a month. I think that's great because I think it would get out of control if there was just people listing however many hundreds of animals on auction for a... Uh, you know, I think, think two or three per seller per month is a pretty reasonable uh, thing. Anyway, that's uh, that's it for today, guys. A short short video. Just wanted to check in on that auction thing. If you guys have any questions about anything else, just leave a comment down below. I'll get through there and read them and answer all the questions that come in. And, yeah, I, I hope you guys enjoyed last night's session. I, I was on the Trap Talk thing talking um, about Brian, which I haven't done yet as I'm recording this now. So I'm... I'm curious if you watched it and how it went, because I don't know yet. <laughs> All right, you guys, uh, thank you for watching. Take care of yourselves. Take care of each other. See you next video. Aloha.